Hi everyone, welcome today. So I finally have finished this um, art journal or an altered book, uh, as you want to call it, without gesso. Have a look at the sides. I love the edge when it looks like this. Uh, it's a bit messy, but I love that um, that look. So, um, if you haven't seen my previous video, you may have not seen the first few pages, but if you have, you may have uh, forgotten. So, I'm just going to start from the start and show you some of um, my pages from the start. And you can just uh, enjoy, um, just, uh, you know, for inspiration and for ideas. Uh, basically, this altered journal does not have gesso because I decided not to use that because I love seeing the um, uh, the fonts and the lyrics or rather the words coming through the pages and I've decided just to um, just go for it and I have skipped uh, every other page so that the, the book is not too bulky and um, um, I've just done clusters on the side and just tags on the side for those pages that I have not uh, done anything with it, uh, just so that it's not too bulky and uh, we can cope with the the um, yeah the number of pages because I didn't actually remove much of this. I did remove some, but not a lot. So um, this is the first page where uh, testing out watercolors and using samples and this is a um, this is the, a writing from the person who actually owned this book and as um, I don't know if you have watched the first video but if you haven't um, this book was printed in 19... 36 was when it was first pub published and this edition is 1948 so it's quite an old book but I just love how um, my watercolors have turned out here and this is just a cluster that I've decided to put on the side so that it just has something of interest to look at and skip the page more uh, watercolor and that's just a cluster doing watercolor here. Well, clusters and these are my pressed flowers. If you don't know and haven't seen my videos before, I love using pressed flowers in my journals. So just trying different things, um, experimenting. I love doing that and exploring uh, because that's the only way um, I'm learning. I'm learning new skills, new things, what works and what doesn't. That's a sticker there. And these are paint pens. Again, trying various things. It's a cluster. And you, I use some of my stickers as well. And doing more like a mixed media kind of um, page with watercolor. And that's just a sticker. And that's fabric. Just doing repeated patterns, uh, which is very relaxing, I find, and trying different colors and combination of colors. These are two stickers that I've put as tabs. They're round on both sides. And, 
and this is just a washi that I've put here and stapled it. These are my round stickers again. And I'm trying different colors and seeing how they work. These are all scraps. Now washi this one all around. These are just watercolor houses. This was fun to do. And more watercolor. And that's just stickers. I think that was given to me by my daughter, these stickers, the clear stickers. And that's more just shapes and testing them out this one is pretty random i'm trying black but i don't think i don't know i don't know what to think of it uh, and this one i've just used tracing paper uh, and i doodled on it with um, a quote and just placed it on but it's not about perfection, uh, I'm telling myself. It's about trying new things and the process is what is really important. Whether I like it or not, it's irrelevant. It's something that you know you won't know until you try and you actually are brave enough, which I'm trying to tell myself to have courage. This is just washy. Uh, have courage to experiment. Because after all, no one's going to say anything about it. I mean, it's my personal journal. And these are all leftovers that I found, which I've decided to just put in my book. And these pages, some of them were falling apart. That's why I've washed them. This was fun to do. Um... And I found some quote cards here, which I've decided to put in it. And trying my purples and mixed media style. And these were just my tags that I have um, left over. And I thought, you know what, they look cute. Oh, and this one is a um, tartan pattern which I was trying, again, experimenting, and my little cats. Um, these ones. Uh, and here. And I love these. These are die cuts, which I got, which is black and and I tend to use quite a number of them uh, against colorful things and uh, I like the um, the contrast uh, this was one of the pages pretty random but it's okay and and this one again trying different style uh, this one actually um, my daughter actually uh, gave me some um, spray paint and so I was just trying on this page to see how they turn out like. Mm. Um, it's something I need to practice a little bit more uh, and it's uh, interesting, it makes an interesting pattern uh, on the page. Uh, these are some butterflies which they were stickers, I think they're washi stickers. Uh, trying different shapes. Uh, I did the circles and this time I did I did the uh, squares instead and using repeated patterns and paint pens and I cut these little um, so they were stickers as I said and they are actually butterflies but I actually cut them in half. Um, trying different paint pens again and different colors 
Uh, these are washi stickers. This one I got an idea from actually a scrapbook uh, paper which had this, the way it's being set up, they're like bricks of different colors and I just thought I'd try that and using the stamp, um, this, this owl and also using my oil pastels. So again, trying different things. Uh, this one is a mixed media piece. Again, um, I like the black contrasting the, uh, the colors. And, and this one. So this one is purely using um, all my scraps to fill the page. And this one here is, yeah, using uh, watercolors and just trying um, to, to use the blue. I think the blue is a really nice background. It stands, makes uh, the flowers actually stand, stand out. Uh, so I like that. And this one here is really interesting. Do you know what this is? This is actually a coffee bag, which I had washed and dried, and uh, and I drew on it and watercolored. And this is the same. I don't know if you can see. This was really fun to do, and I actually washi this, the tag. And I have saved a few more for my journal because I think that that was a really interesting. Uh, I like how it turned out because it looks almost like you're painting on vellum or some sort of. Uh, yeah, it was a real surprise, but I really like the tea bag painting. Um, this one here, I use mainly pencils and crayons. And I just lightly um, painted the background uh, with pastels, like pastel um, uh, watercolor. Um, so yeah, it's again a different style and I, I had some washi which looked very transparent or translucent and I like, I've um, decided to use them so they look like falling leaves in autumn. And I just used some scrap paper to make this cluster over here. Again, using the blue uh, and using pencil and uh, crayon um, to actually draw my flowers. So yeah, I'm just experimenting. Not sure if I like it entirely, but it's okay. Um, and this one here, uh, which I think it's quite interesting because this time I did not use any um, watercolor at all, but just using the gray uh, pencil and gray crayon uh, that I used to draw my flowers. Um, yeah, so I'm quite happy with that. I don't know if um, I will go over it with black pen, but... Um, just testing and see what it looks like on the book page. And I found these uh, cards which I had left over. So I decided to put that here because I didn't want to be drawing on these. Because this was the handwriting of um, the person that owned the book. And even that. So which was really interesting. I wanted to keep that as part of like the history of this book. And I uh, wash it here because it was falling apart. And that's the end of my flip through. Hope you enjoyed that. See you in our next video. Bye.